Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Thank you for watching News 5. On Monday, Teller County will be moving to the high risk orange level on the state's COVID dial. The state health department revokes variances at this level. The Board of County Commissioners say they feel the state is singling out the casinos under these rules. They point out that less than 5% of all COVID cases in the county can be traced to their casinos. Tighter COVID-19 restrictions are also in place for El Paso County. On Friday, the county moved to the high-risk orange level on the state's COVID dial. The move means offices, stores, and restaurants must operate at 25% capacity, and bars that don't serve food have to close. Pueblo County also has moved to the high-risk orange level. The move to a more restrictive level means the county will lose its variances, which could result in the closure of some businesses. Mayor Nick Gratisar extending the city curfew. It will now end on Friday, November 27th at 5 a.m. Under a new federal court order, churches in Colorado are exempt from capacity limits, even with this higher level of restrictions. The pastor at the road at Chapel Hill says they are operating at 50% capacity with in-person services. Virtual services are available online. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Alan Rose. And Renee, we're on weather alert once again. We don't have any high wind warnings or red flag warnings in effect locally in the News 5 viewing area, but gust in our local mountains could still get up near 50 to 60. And up towards the Rocky Mountain National Park, Summit County, the front ranges here in northern Colorado, gust today could top 70 to 75 miles per hour. Temperature wise, you're going to feel a little bit of a warm up today. I know it's cold out there this morning, but take a look at the daytime highs, a mix of 40s, 50s and 60s here in Southern Colorado. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know sponsored by Power Credit Union.